This is Frank, and you're watching part 11 of Power Concepts Excel Top 10. Okay, it's not that we can't count, but we're just always trying to be overachievers. So um, here's our 11th series in this video. Okay, in the uh, seminar, we didn't do this. We just created a, a list of non-duplicates here. But I want to use the unique function, so I'm going to do that. Equals uh, unique. And I want to find any unique facility. So I'm just going to do control shift down and push enter. And this finds all the unique facilities in the list. I'll do the same with uh, department equals unique of this long list. You can see it's down 1,949 rows. It's looked through that and it found all the unique departments. Now, my goal here is I want to be able to have a pick list where I can pick a facility and pick a department and it will count how many items are in that list. And we could run filters to do that, but that means I have to look at the whole table and filter and do that. Maybe I have this filter actually on another part of the book and I just need to be able to call for these numbers. And maybe I want to do a sum of whatever facility and department that I have. And so uh, we're going to make that happen here really easily. A couple of things I can do to make my life um, simpler here. First, I'm going to make the pick list. So I'm going to use my data validation. Um, it can't be anything. It has to be a list. I haven't actually named this list because I use the unique function. So I'm just going to click here. And I have to remember that I have to push the hashtag on the end of that and hit OK. And now this list automatically fills up the, fills, picks up the spill list that I had there. In the department, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use data validation. I'm going to say it, can, it has to be a list. The source is going to be this cell right here. And I have to make sure I put the hashtag at the end and push enter. And now I've got my criteria. Now I'm going to do a count test. Well, we did the ifs in another video, but this is going to be very, very similar. So I just hit equals, and I'm going to hit count. It's, and I'm going to count, well, my criteria. Now, if I had named my criteria, it would make my life uh, easier. But I'm just going to click down here and count if, and I'll hit my criteria here. I'm going to type a comma, and the criteria. is right there. I'm going to hit comma. Let's try that again. Notice how I came to the back. When you select a long range, it's awkward because you're down at the bottom and you're trying to select. Let me show you how I did that. I'm going to go to the criteria range. The criteria range in this case here is going to be the department. So I hold Control, Shift, and Down. But now I want to get to the top. If I hold Control and the backspace, it takes me to the top of the list again. So it's a nice, convenient test. That's the criteria range. And then what is the criteria? Well, here's the criteria right here. I'm just going to push Enter. And it's going to tell me that shoe swap day surgery comes up 14 times. If I take uh, Kootenai Lake, it comes up 17. If I go to Penticton General, it comes up 46. Now, a sum is going to be very similar to that, but we have to add one more column. That is, what is the information we're going to add up? So we're going to give that a try. Equals sum ifs sum range. Okay, so what is the number we're going to add up? Well, we're going to add up the actuals. Control shift down, and I'm going to hit control backspace to get back to the top. So we're going to be adding it up. The criteria range is facility Notice I have the named range there, so that makes life easier. Uh, comma, the criteria is right here, comma. This criteria range two is department, so I can just go to department, comma, and the department is right here, and a closed bracket. Named ranges just make it so much faster and easier to select. I can push enter now, and it tells me what the total is of whatever area, whatever criteria I select. So it tells me the number, and it tells me 
the value of whatever has been applied to that range. Let's give that a try in the assignment. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the assignment. What we're hoping to do is to be able to pick a type and a region and have it show us how many. We always hope that it will give us an answer of one and a cost. So we're looking through this list of types and regions and costs, and we're hoping there's no duplicates. There's not two prices for an e-arthroscopy in the coastal region. There's only one. So the how many is an important test to make sure there's no duplicate data. Um, the cost, of course, is just going to do a sum of all the entries that we find that meet the criteria, but hopefully we only find one. So it's a really interesting way of just filtering uh, a, a data that's laid out with multiple criteria uh, down here. Um, I'm going to start by making uh, lists here. So I'm going to hit uh, Control T for a minute, and my table has headers. It Notice it doesn't decide that uh, itself because this is all text, so I hit OK. And I'm going to use my name button to just name this uh, unique type. It would be a great name. I'm going to go here. And uh, I'm going to make this a table. Again, I have to tell it my table has headers. And I'm going to name it by the top row. I'm going to go to the type here. And uh, I'm going to use my data validation. And I'm going to pick a list, source. I'm going to say F3. It's going to be unique type. And for this one here, for the region, I'll do the same data validation. It has to be a list. I'm going to F3. And I'm going to find the unique region somewhere near the bottom. And hit OK. Great. So now I can pick the region and I can pick the surgery type. Now I want to know how many. So for that, I'm going to do a count if, and I'm going to count how many out of these two columns match that criteria. Um, so equals count ifs. Two conditions are going to be in here. The criteria range here. Control shift down. Selects the whole list. Control backspace takes me to the top. Comma. What's the criteria? Does it meet that? And second criteria, oh, I'm going to go to the region, control shift down, control backspace takes me back up, and comma, and does it have that part there? Push enter, and how many? It should only be one out of whatever I try. The cost is going to be exactly the same information, but it's going to, we're going to add up the cost column. So here we go, equals sum ifs tab, sum range, that's the first thing. So we're going to take a look. We're going to add up control backspace. We're going to add up everything in that column when it matches this criteria, where the type control backspace takes me to the top equals that, and where the region Control shift, control backspace equals that. Push enter. Let's try that again. Criteria range, control shift down, control backspace, ah, comma. Forgot the comma. And the criteria is there. Push enter. And so now if I say knee um, meniscectomy in the northern, 4,000. If I say it's knee arthroscopy in the coastal, it's 900. So I can quickly look at this number. So bonus, what we could do is we could take this and put this onto a new form. So I can select this data, and I'm just going to hit a control C. I'm going to go to a whole entirely different page and paste this on, and everything should work. 
I should be able to just pick on here and it's going to look up the information that could be totally tucked away in another part of the book. So that's uh, the benefit of using this tool.